few envelopes I have a crime which two of you will commit and one will not. After handing over the sealed envelopes, Adam leaves the team to individually open their instructions. Burglar Malachi is first. All right. So here are the directions. Do not disclose this information in this message to anyone until told to do so. And after opening his letter, he returns to M5 on a quiet weekend morning. Enter Jamie's office next to the computer on the top shelf of the tall white bookshelf. You will find a tan cash box. Inside the box you will find a wallet. Open the wallet and remove $50. Grant is next and his task is identical to Tori's. And with the cash safely stashed, he slips away to spend his ill-gotten gains. Last up, Carrie. You are the innocent party. Do not search the room. Do not disturb anything. I get to tell the truth. I get to be the innocent party. So Carrie is the all-important control. She didn't steal any cash. And during the interrogation, will answer all questions truthfully. Which means it's time to meet the man with the machine. Dr. Michael Martin has been a polygraphist for over 15 years and has conducted over 8,000 lie detection tests. There's a lot of people out there that think that polygraphs are, are total bunk. How would you respond to that? Uh, well, first of all, uh, let's look at the research. The federal government has done quite a few studies, and each study, the test results fall anywhere from about 80% to about 99% in accuracy. Before the guys test the reality of those impressive numbers, Ringmaster Adam has one more trick up his sleeve. In order to actually get some real physiological autonomic responses, we're going to raise the stakes for you. And so, if you are able to conceal whether or not you did this crime from our polygraphist, the next time you fly for Mythbusters, you'll be flying first class. However, if you fail to conceal whether or not you did this crime from the polygraphist, you will be washing, waxing, and polishing every single crew member's car on Mythbusters. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> this went from fun to not fun. <laughs> yeah. With the threat of some real work hanging over their heads, the pressure is on. Burglar Bellacci will be the first to face the music. But how exactly will he attempt to outwit the polygraph? My secret weapon. I'm gonna stick the tack. In my pocket like this. Point it at my leg. And whenever I'm telling the truth, I'm just gonna press down on my leg. It should hurt. So Tori is trying to invalidate the test as a whole by blurring the line between fact and fiction. Remember, the polygraph works by measuring the stress of lying. So the theory is, by stressing your body with pain on the truthful answers and relaxing on the lies, the machine can't tell the difference. To begin the test, Dr. Martin asks a bunch of simple calibration questions. Is your first name Salvatore? Yes. Remember, every time he answers truthfully, he presses in the tack. Calculate 6 times 11 minus 15. Maths and pain have always been partners for Tori. 54. Do you intend to answer my questions truthfully? Yes. Recently featured in the movie Ocean's 13, this technique of self-harm is a popular myth. Did you steal that cash discovered missing from Jamie's office today? No. But the sensors on the seat and floor catch even the slightest suspicious movement. Okay, if that's a movement, please keep your eyes straight ahead. I tried going for the, the tack and he called me out, so I had to go straight to biting my tongue. So it's plan B. Tori's new painful countermeasure is tongue biting. During your entire life, did you ever send one is stolen from a cash on a white envelope and steal that cash? After a further 80 minutes of intense scrutiny and deliberately confusing questions, that's it. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Tori and his tongue finish the interrogation close to breaking point. Got the third degree. I feel like the screws are being tightened down on me. Grant's next, and for his technique, rather than getting physical, he's going mental. My happy slash erotic thoughts are puppies licking my face 
and scantily clad women. Okay. So Grant will use the power of his not inconsiderable mind by thinking stressful thoughts of getting caught when being honest and happy thoughts when lying. The test results are supposedly rendered inconclusive regarding that cash report. Mr. Henry stolen from a cash buyer his entire life. Did you ever break the question? Did you who stole that cash? No. After 90 minutes, the strain must be taking its toll. Yes. Grant's technique requires absolute focus and concentration. No. But the intensity and length of the interview are designed to counter Grant's countermeasure. Yeah. That's going to do it. Last up is innocent little Carrie. I don't like people throwing unexpected questions at me like that. I've seen Montel. I know how they take people off guard. Is your first name Carrie? Yes. Remember, she's the control and didn't steal any cash. But despite her innocence, the stressful environment and questioning takes its toll. Was that money stolen from a white and from Jamie's chair? The cash reported missing from Jamie. Also, you are afraid I will ask. Just I was waiting for that moment I was going to break down. No. The hardest part is just holding still. I thought I was going to have one flinch. I was going to screw the whole thing up. The question is, will her nerves confuse the polygraph and lead to a false accusation? That's the worst. And to find out exactly who will be charged with the crime and who won't, Dr. Martin gathers the suspects for the results. Well, first of all, the good news is that no one's test was inconclusive. We have conclusive results on everyone. Really? Absolutely. Great. <laughs> Adam and Jamie are involved in a steamy affair. Working on these machines and brace my skin. Using the Civil War specs and modern materials, they've built a steam-powered machine gun. It may not look like it, but it's working. With Jamie drawing the line at firing automatic weapons in the shop, it's off to the wide open spaces of the Alameda.